guys, this is Sam from fightforex.info. Um, I'm making this video for those who are new to VPS, Forex VPS, and I want to show you step by step what is required when you want to set up your first EA on your own Forex VPS. Okay? So this video is really for beginners. It's not for those who have already uh, understood the technology, understood the process. So if you are already experienced using VPS, uh, Forex VPS, then this video is not for you. This video is meant purely for newbies and beginners who are using Forex VPS for the first time. Okay? So, Let's just understand VPS. VPS is Virtual Private Server. Why virtual? Because this is usually a virtual server software running on a big computer somewhere, which is uh, maintained by a company that owns a data center. And this is constantly connected to the internet. So that's why it's a uh, server and when it is constantly connected to the internet uh, when you run your meta trader instance on this vps it's constantly connected to your trade servers as well so that's a virtual part of it private is because this is an instance that this um, providers create only for you and it it's only available to you nobody else has access it's like your own private little server so that's why it's private and server because it's usually set up with Windows Server operating systems like Windows Server 2012 or something like that. <clears throat> usually a server operating system has more features available as compared to a regular Windows laptop, which is typically used for a home office or a personal use. So that's why this is a server. So that's a VPS. So when you actually are trying to run your MetaTrader on your own computer without a VPS, this is what you're trying to do. You're basically running on your laptop. Whenever your laptop is on and connected to the internet, your trader or the MetaTrader software is connected through internet to the trade server, right? So trade server is usually maintained and provided by your trade platform or trading platform like forex.com, ONDA, IG, whatever, right? Um, so this is the setup you're typically using when you're using your computer and you don't have VPS. Without the VPS, this is what's happening. But when you get a VPS, you basically have your MetaTrader running on this VPS server, the virtual private server. You're running your EAs on it, and 24-7, as long as this machine is running and connected to the internet, you're running and connecting and doing your trading. So even if your own laptop or a local computer is turned off, you're actually still able to do your trading through your automated trading robots. Now, the way you connect from your local computer to your trading, or you sorry, to your VPS is uh, through a VPS uh, or a remote desktop application, which is typically a default application that's available on Windows computers these days. It's also called RDP, remote um, desktop or something like that. So you use that, you connect here, you set up everything here, then you switch off, meaning you disconnect from the VPS. So your laptop is no more connected to the VPS, but the VPS is still, still running your EAs, right? So that's the setup with VPS, right? Now, how to get a VPS to run your Forex Expert Advisor, right? So one thing you can do is you can rent one from a company that specializes in providing these type of Forex private servers. Or you can do it yourself. Now, 
doing yourself also you can rent a space in a data center or you can do it on your own in your own home even with a laptop you can achieve this so i have a separate video in my channel how to do that with your laptop but that's not recommended the recommended way is always to get a commercially uh, set up vps from a an established company and the advantage of doing that is that you don't have to worry about maintaining the server software, software upgrades, and all those things. They take care of it for you, right? So that's the best way. And usually the other advantage is that these specialized companies, they have um, a very good connectivity to the trade servers. So you have the least amount of delay between placing an order and getting a response. That's also called latency. So if you rent it from a company that specializes in it, a well-known company, a well-known provider, you have that big advantage um, as well. Uh, this is the service I would recommend uh, called as uh, FXVM. And uh, I will also set up the link in the um, description section of the video so when you go to um, fxvm essentially you have different uh, you'll see that you have different plans available uh, you can choose from the plans um, if you are new always go for you know basic one that's more than enough to run um, four or five instances they say don't run more than two more than three it's just a guiding rule uh, you can run, you know, um, they say one or two, but I've been using this plan for the last 12 years and I run four or five at times, even six. Um, so, of course, I'm not going to walk you through the whole uh, sign up process. Uh, they have promotions going on every time to time, whatnot, right? So, the assumption that you have done the sign up and you have paid for whatever the promotion price or whatever the price for the first month. And once you do that, they will send you three things, right? Um, they will send you a VPS IP address, VPS port number, VPS user name, and VPS password. Typically, when they set up the user for you, they set up a temporary password and they tell you to log in and change the password first time you log in. Um, if that is the case, then I'll show you how to go about that as well. Um, so you get these four things. If you haven't received these things, you had to ask for it. Sometimes they will also give you um, like a uh, name like uh, xxx.com blah 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 uh, typically it's ip address but sometimes they may give a name as well so once you have these four things right the next thing you need is called as remote desktop connection this is what you need remote desktop connection all Windows machines come with this. If you don't have it, you can um, easily just search for download RDP software for Windows and it will be available to you. Um, so it's an app, it's a free app. You can install it for your Windows machine, right? So once you have that, you basically run your remote desktop connection and since i have been already connecting to the machine i will um, i see that as a ready option but this is where you put your ip address which is usually a four digit or uh, four numbers with up to three digits each separated by the dot everybody knows what an ip address is then you put a colon so the two dots and then the port number that they give you, right? 
Um, once you do that, you can essentially connect to the VPS. So all you have to do, once you put the IP in this, you say connect. Now, I have already saved the username and password for this. So you will uh, not see this screen directly. You will see a screen that asks you to log in, right? Um, so let me show you that part. Okay, so when you enter your IP address, colon, port number, you have to hit connect and it will ask you to log in. So go to more choices, use a different account, and then enter the username and password they gave you. You can choose to say remember me and click OK. And sometimes you will get this um, certificate error. So sometimes they don't keep the certificates up to date. So it gives a warning. Uh, you can choose to not see this again. You can choose to view the certificate. Um, I would just say yes and continue. This is the first time how it will look like when you log in. If the operating system hasn't been updated for some time, they will ask you to update. Uh, so for now, we're gonna avoid that. Now comes the next step, which is to <clears throat> set up your meta trader, right? So for that, open your Chrome or the browser that's available and um, you have to go to the uh, trader that you're going to use. So let's say I'm going to use IG.com and I'm basically going to first either create a demo account or uh, something like that. Um, my goal here is to download the MetaTrader and log in, right? So if you already have the account, uh, you can log into that account. Uh, let me show you. Okay, so I have ONDA account, so I was able to download the executable from the ONDA website. So whichever trading platform you are going to use, download the MetaTrader 4 setup file from them. Execute. Now, if you want to select a specific folder that you want to install the ONDA, you can go into settings and do that. I'm just going to use the default one. Um, hit next. Now it's installing. Once the installation is complete, it will start the MetaTrader 4 and it will also um, open, I think, the Meta MQL5 website, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Um, it's just finished. You click finish. And it should open the uh, software now, the MetaTrader 4. So now either you can uh, set up a demo account by using the next option and all that, or you can cancel. If you already have an account, put the login password, select the server, and just click login. And once you do that, um, just set up your expert advisors, anything you want, and you're all set. I have more videos in the channel that show you how to set up uh, expert advisors on MetaTrader 4, how to set up your own indicators. So refer to other videos to see how to do that. Uh, this video was meant to just show you up to this part how to um, set up your MetaTrader 4. One pro tip is that to keep 
um, optimum performance every weekend try to uh, restart your server um, uh, that's the best option and uh, <clears throat> that way your performance is kept up to date otherwise you know the server keeps getting slower and slower over time um, the other thing I want to show is how to go and change your password so I think we'll go to control panel here that the user accounts right so um, currently logged in as a trader manage user credentials okay so I just figured it out so this is the way so once you come here manage another account click on trader this is the account you logged in with and then change password okay so if you are to change your password once you log in for the first time this is the one of course you know note down the new password and then you'll be all set uh, so that's it uh, that's what I wanted to show thanks for watching and please like and subscribe